Hey guys, my name is Sidiak and welcome back to another episode of Taste Baker. where last episode we managed to turn around our failing, and when I mean failing guys, I mean like dramatically failing restaurante, into something that's now thriving. It's um, consistently making money every month, which is really good. The workers are complaining a little bit, but that's okay. But we learn, I feel like I learn more than I ever have done before in last episode. Which is freaking amazing. And before we get into it, guys, as I say, if you are enjoying it and want to see more, please make sure you smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you're around here for you to get notified when that next episode does come out. But I learned so much. Like, when it comes up saying there's not enough brooms or sweepers, we kind of learned the fact that I have free cleaners. Now, if I gave each and every single one of those free cleaners the ability to use a broom, the toilets never get cleaned because they're all holding a broom. But if we have four cleaners and we only have three brooms, that means one cleaner never has a broom. Which means that one cleaner is technically dedicated to cleaning the toilets. We learned that last episode, which I think that is one of the biggest golden nuggets we could ever take from this. And also, don't worry about being dirty in your restaurant, Zinniak. You know, it hasn't got to be squeaky clean. But we got 5,000 in the bank, and today I want to take a look at kind of re slightly configuring the kitchen layout. I wanted to see if we can try and make it more efficient than what it actually currently is. And I also uh, kind of want to, because um, we are actually kind of earning quite a bit of money, I could potentially hire another chef and another server, just try and like kind of take off the workloads of what's currently going down right now. And uh, so, yeah, it's pretty sweet. So if you guys can pull up with the fact that there's not enough brooms and vacuum cleaners uh, and just know it's so we can clean toilets, then I think we can get through this. <laughs> I think we can all get through this together. So let's take a look at this then. We have doors. We have a door there, which weirdly, I know it's kind of there for the little walkway going through. But if it was here, it kind of just takes a little bit of the edge off. But I'll see what happens because we've got some configuring that I kind of need to get done. So right now then, me changing all this is going to slightly mess up your boy's kind of um, momentum that I've gained. But I'm just going to move all of these over here for now, just so i got a bit of space to do some reconfiguring. Now, we have two doors. So if I had, say, if I kept the door here, for example, or do I pull it here for the walkway? Now, if I put it there, I could place down a, um, a shelf. Which might be a good idea. Right, okay. So, I'm in my head, I'm just kind of configuring. If I just move this over to here. If I move this over to here right now. And we place you over in the corner. Must be placed. Must be placed. What? Must be placed on none. I don't get it. Can I place it? I can place it there. But I can't place it there, apparently. Now, if I move you to over here, can I then place it there? No. So, it, it it's not like in the fact that I'm going to be placing it over... There's nothing there, is there, in the way? No. That's so weird. Right, okay, so the whole restaurant is going to have a mental breakdown right now with what I'm exact... You know, with what I'm doing. But just bear with me, guys. It would all make beautiful sense. It would all make beautiful sense. If I had a... Um, storage rack there. Move you to over here real quick. Had a storage rack here. So technically, as they, the delivery dude walks in, he's got access here, and some of the chefs have got access close by to all that stuff. I am then going to rotate... Well, actually, move you over here. I'm going I'm to move all this stuff and then redo it all. Oh, it's in use. I can't move it just yet. Because then I'm going to place the dishwashers there. Because I want stuff that is close by so we can get the, the the dirty dishes a whole lot quicker right it's currently in use move it boom okay so dishwasher there dishwasher there dishwasher there i've got to move that door which means i'm going to put a secondary shelf here a secondary shelf there and then have room there for another dishwasher right sweet mate sweet so make a little bit more room oh this looks so annoying this does look so freaking annoying right now, but hold on. Oh, it's still in use. There we go. So we'll have a chopping board here. Chopping board there. We'll have a... Is that a chopping board? Here's a chopping board. Chopping board. 
See, I could go across the whole row here with the chopping boards because technically the servers only to go to here. Can I get... Awkwardly, I can't... Oh, I'm going to delete that because the chopping board's in the wrong place. It is for that one too. What is going on with these chopping boards? Right, I'm going to delete it. All right, get you just there. So bear with me on what I'm doing right now. Because again, I, I got ideas for how it's meant to work. I got to make them come into fruition. So you go there. Chopping board here. You go there. And there's one here as well. Am I still making money? I'm still making money, which is good. So I'll, I'll, I'll kind of break down exactly what I'm doing in just a moment. Let me just get some more kitchen stuff. So cabinet goes there and a cabinet goes there. And then we get a chopping board here, chopping board, chopping board, chopping board on all of this. Okay, so I'll break it down for you now. <laughs> so forget behind the chopping boards going backwards, forget that. So basically, I've now got it set up where if you're the dude walking in with the goods, you have straight away located near you storage racks to drop some goods off we'll have more storage racks further back but there we go for the chefs when about to prep some ingredients there's some storage racks nearby and then when they start cooking we'll have some more storage racks on the inside they can grab the ingredients from now what this really benefits the most is the the dishwashers the cleaners who are picking up the dirty dishes to throw them in there straight away throw them in there and then once they get cleaned throw them into the cabinet they're all close by within walking distance because yeah it takes a while to clean some food i mean yeah it takes a while to cook some food but we can't do no food if we've got no clean dishes. So there we go. There we go. Now we're going to configure this very, very differently um, behind. Because now I want to make sure that i got to move all this. That I have a little bit of everything. So I'm going to pretty much create a mirror image on both sides right now. So we'll have a refrigerator here. We'll have a refrigerator here. So we're going to have two refrigerators on both sides. We're going to buy another one. There we go. There we go. We'll then have a... Let me turn this. There we go. Let me just move you to over here. Hold on, hold on. I was going to move stuff. Move you. There we go. So what we'll then do is we'll have back-to-back... -back, we got four stoves, just like that, back-to-back. -back. And then we'll have four fryers so we've got a stove and a fryer if it let me pick it up there we go there so this is close to uh frying and cooking chicken for there and th this is right nearby you know you, you kind of get the gist of it i need another deep fryer there so it's all nearby you got all these beautiful walkways and they can walk straight to the little sewing things and drop them down it makes it so much easier for them and then what we're going to do is we're going to set actually we're going to stick in a storage rack in the middle here again breaking up the pattern making sure that we're maximizing how much we've got in but then i'm thinking is it worthwhile because we're always using stoves maybe have some you know pretty much additional stoves in uh which i could do which i can place them opposite which is perfectly fine Unless I wrote, well, flip them over to there, but then I'm trying to, I'm really am trying to shorten the walking distance. So then we have the pizza ovens, which I'll just throw over here for now. All right, just bear with me because I'm, I'm still trying to figure out the walkway. Okay, I got it, I got it. So what we'll do is we'll throw the fryers, must be placed on none. Is there something going on with some of this placement? What seems to be the issue? Can I place you here? Placed on none. Huh? Huh? If I moved you to there... Must be, do I technically not own that land? Because that was like one of the big issues we had in the past, wasn't it? I technically don't own that land, do I? Is that what it is? That's what it is, isn't it? I technically didn't own that land. Hmm. 
Right, anyway, Friars. No! Can't replace them none. What? <laughs> this, whatever, whatever the issue is right now, is going to mess up everything. So, right, how do I, how do I, how do I destroy stuff again? No, I don't want to delete you. That going across. So can I now move? Placed on none. What? What? If I place you there, can I place this? Placed on none. What does that mean? What do you mean? You mean nothing. Nothing to me. Maybe if I place some kitchen floor down. So tiles. Right, I place floor down so he knows that there is flooring. No. No, can't place a nun there. But I can place there. What does that mean that I can't place on nun? I might have to low key quickly search on the Steam Workshop for the game in the discussions. What placed on nun actually means. You know what I mean? So I looked on this, on this Steam Workshop at the discussions and it kind of revolves around it could potentially mean that there was a tree once there. I'm just kind of scanning to where I could buy bits of land. Yeah, it's costing me money. But like, I don't really have any other option. So I'm going to buy all the remaining pieces of land that I would have kind of missed. Not saying it's going to fix it. But that's really weird. There's nothing there I can... Item in use. Are <laughs> you sure? There's, there's, not even, there's no items there. There's no items there right now. What do you mean item in use? So that's completely messed up my whole kit. Oh! It's the vacuum. It's the freaking vacuum. That's what it is. And there's one here as well, isn't there? So there's me thinking it's a bug. I literally, I literally just searched on the Steam Workshop. And other people are having the same issue. And everyone's saying it's because there was a tree once there. I don't think... Have I just solved that issue? I think I have. Guys. It's because you got vacuums there, okay? Right, anyway. Friars here. And here. Do the same on this side. Friars there. And there. Because I'm going to get extra stoves in the middle here. So 3,400. I just wasted so much money and I didn't need to. But it's okay. At least we figured it out. At least I remembered. That's the problem though. Because when you place down brooms, they have the little basket that they're kind of chilling. Um, everything else don't. So it kind of just throw you off. All right, pizza mixer. Or dough mixer, should I say. There. And there. And then we have the little oven. So this is the thing right now. Do I want to create a little walkway in between? Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Right, we'll go for a little walkway there. Because we are going to be kind of um, opening up this area quite a bit. It could then mean I have then an additional bread maker of some sorts. So we create a little walkway there just to kind of uh, you know divide things slightly so people can maneuver a bit more. Uh, we've got an oven, so I'll get another set of ovens down. While we do have the, the funds right now to be playing around with this additional stuff, drop that all down. And we're going to extend outwards. So delete this wall. The kitchen's going back. So walls. There we go. There we go. And I might as well just sort out the floor in for the kitchen tiles. So it's annoying that you can't drag and drop it and you've got to do it like this. This is even more annoying. Ah, the pain. The pain. So the next question would be, yo, Seniac. Um, it's quite a far way for the pizzas to get down here, which is true, is true, but I'm thinking 
we'll eventually have like a doorway that goes, goes at the side and that way to that kind of side when we expand more and i've made this walkway so wide and also had the ability to kind of do something sideways here to do stairs that would eventually go up i know it's into the toilet at the minute but to easy access to the peeps upstairs when they want to get their food so i've got plans for all that how it plays out i don't fully know just yet so let's kind of create um additional connections so back into the old build gonna rotate some storage racks there get another storage rack just here because then that will allow me to then build an additional oh do i want additional dough makers is that what i want right so if i do an additional if i put a dough maker there move that one up that one up because i've bought more of everything apart from well at this point it will be fryers so i add in the additional fryer both sides there there we go so fryer fryer there so it doesn't really give me much expansions for more dishwashers themselves we're really kind of maxing out there but they're not really being overly used right now fridges are currently full but that stores you know a certain type of food ovens at the back there so let me just go through the menu to kind of see what's needed for certain items so stuff that goes in the fridge nugs needs a deep fat fryer steak needs a cooker cooker meat oven and the ovens are all the way back over here so but then again it's not too far away so i don't think i need to worry too much and then let's delete you and we're going to build or well, extend the wall over to there so yeah if, if anything i need to delete that there wall going across so door which will be a staff door just here staff door just there so it, it gives us easier access to get through that area which then means if I do extend back it a bit, then then the next bit after this will be more dishwashers. You see where that's going? Because obviously I want dishwashers as close as possible to where they walk in. Right, okay. Okay. So let me just kind of reconfigure how much stuff we're actually ordering right now. Bring that down to six. Bring that down by one. And uh, did we make money? We are still making money. Which is really, really good to see. Uh, really good to see right now. So I just got to reconfigure. I mean, do I need to reconfigure that door? I, I feel like everything's still okay. It doesn't really affect much. It's a bit funky how it's kind of off center, but it's not the. It's not a big problem right now. So this is all good then. I'm liking this. I'm impressed with this. We'll see how long this kind of ticks along. I feel like it's more efficient. Because everything's within closer range. That's how I feel. But we haven't really been pushed to the max just yet. I mean, they'll, they'll complain about there's, there's high workloads and stuff like that. But if I hire now two more employees. There we go. It's how that these two new employees, one's solely a chef and one's solely uh, cooking. That then will really kind of then increase the efficiency. You know, we can cook more food. We can then serve more food. So if you can just pull up with the fact that we've got not enough vacuum cleaners, because I don't want that additional person to have a vacuum cleaner, because then we don't have all the toilets get clogged up. <laughs> That's literally what happens. So I feel like this kitchen's a lot more efficient. I feel like it is. So now we've done this, we really do need to pull it to the test. So we need to get more people coming in. Now, that's quite difficult to get more people coming in. So I have no control over that. So maybe then we start looking at um, really like, and I mean, really starting to up the decor rating because it's not perfect everywhere. And this wide section kind of does deplete it to some degree. Um, right. OK, decor. So tables give off their own decor. So is it now time that we slowly start replacing these tables and stuff with proper tables and chairs? I'll slowly start deleting them where I can. And then we'll slowly start replacing them. 
It will take a while to do so. So I've got to wait for people to be served and eat and then skedaddle out of here. i got none over here, have I? No. Oh, also, I've got different types of chairs there as well. i got to go through and see what chairs are better. All right, delete the chairs so no one sits down. Bam, they're all gone. So chairs then, uh, we've got two different types. You've got the wooden one, which is 40, and then we've got the $100 one, which does give us a 20 rating, which is cool. Fancy tables do 50, but they are 300 a pop. So am I having to slowly start replacing everything with those? Is that what I'm going to have to do? Like one... Two, three. Oh my goodness me, this is expensive. And then chairs. Right, but the decor right now has boosted this area ridiculously. Now I don't have to rely so much on actual other decor items like paintings and stuff. So maybe that's what we do. We just slowly go around replacing all that with that kind of furniture. So it's a little bit dead in this area. So let's see how much it would change now if I place down these new tables and chairs. One there, one there. Right, very expensive. But decor, boom! Looking good. Looking very good. Very good. So the more we can increase the decor rating, the more peeps will come in. And that's just going to be a gradual process. That really is just going to be a gradual process. We've got 35 peeps, 36 peeps in. So this is the higher end that I've kind of um, seen it at. 41! Holy moly, for the first time ever, we've got 40 peeps in. Okay, right, we really are now focusing on um, doing our decor. Now I feel like I've got the kitchen sorted. Then... This should be the one. This should be the one. So we've also got to think about at some point as well, bringing the soup onto the menu. Now, soup is going to require us having some bowls, which we should just get it out of the way, right? If I order, say, 15 bowls, I don't know how if that's going to be enough. We'll figure it out. But that costs us a pretty penny to get all those bowls coming in. Which, once we got them in stock, we should then be able to bring on soup onto the menu at 20 big ones. So now we are serving every type of food available. Every type of food available is now being offered in your boy's restaurante, which is good. So where else are we slacking on the old table, or, well, the old decor front? So we've got to sort out all of this. That is a must. So I can slowly replace the chairs. That is the cheaper option for me. Actually, I'll just get rid of them all. Because we've got them all on the other side of the restaurant. Just keep in. Uh, what I need to keep in. Like the chairs. And then we'll slowly replace everything. So big, big, big numbers right now in the bank account. Bam, 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 bam. Delete, delete. Nice. <laughs> and then fancy tables. So I do want I do them staggered like this before dotting everywhere because it can bring up Oh hang on, I'm doing it wrong. Why have I put that one there? Because obviously it spreads the decor rating. Look how solidly green that is. Yikes. Yikes. That chair's also the wrong way around. <laughs> Fancy table right there. We're going to be making stonks of this decor right now. Stonks, he says. Right, let's slowly get rid of these. Uh, 
Let's get rid of where we can. Slowly replace them. I think we're going to be waiting a while for these guys. So, decor right now. Just do it where it matters, like in that corner, for example. Then boost the decor over there. Decor's looking pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you, it does look pretty good. i got to place something here and here to take the edge off this. And eventually move all the gambling stuff as well. You know, really to take the edge off it. But that's pretty good, man. That's, like, real good. Uh, right, okay. Okay, I'd like to know how much I'm now making. Because, again, we're, we're in the high 30s, like, getting up to 40s at times. Right, I think there was not enough clean plates there for a second. So, I don't know whether that's because there's not enough clean plates in general, or is that the fact that, you know, I, I literally do not have... Oh, okay, we, we're at our limit there. Maybe we just don't physically have enough plates in the building. So, drop you there. Fancy table, drop you there. And what, what's our decor? Look how our man, that is so green. Green equals money, boys. Green equals money. Liking it. So it's all about just getting more and more tables in now just to kind of fill up the restaurant. So now I've got it in the edges just to kind of fill the decor right in it. I can pretty much do the rest. So this, this restaurant extends further over than that side. That's why we've only got one table. I can't put another one there because you can't get to that chair. Which is annoying. Do, 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 do. Just waiting for the monies. Yeah, lots of people making their way into the restaurant run take. So how much you were making the previous month? 429. Not bad. Not bad considering. What's the decor rain like outside? It's not amazing. So maybe for now. I get rid of the outdoor seating, so at least then everybody is having the same experience inside where it's really, really nice. That little side door is pretty cool. Until I can eventually afford to do the outside of here really nice. But this should allow me to place down more and more tables. We need to order a little bit more chicken. So, bam, get rid. There we go. Fancy tables! There we go. How much have I got? Alright, can I place this last one in? Yes. Right, that is all now my tables and chairs at this point replaced with the most fanciest ones we can get, which is really good. Like, really good with the green levels right now. Really, really impressed with that. Really impressed with that right now. So how much money did we make on that previous month? 289. Okay, okay, okay. We did not have enough ingredients at one point. But it's still a profit. That's the main focus right there. It was still a profit. So now technically I've got less tables and chairs than I once did. Which means I can't bring in as many customers as I could before. Well, I guess some more, uh, more chicken in right now. So we've got to slowly build all that back up again. We will get there. We'll finish off this little strip going down. But in the meantime, where can I take advantage of decor? So decor right now. Let me see what's good. So in terms of plants, that provides 50. This one provides 40. The paintings provide 50 as well. Okay. But when it comes to like the clock, it's 100. I'm looking for stuff that kind of gives us the most amount of decor versus the price. Fish tank is really high. Like really high. So, okay. Statue is 70. Jukebox is 80. Grandfather clock is 100. We need the grandfather clock here, don't we? So, I'll move this just over here a minute. Move that painting over by one, over the tables. There we go. If I move that grandfather clock here to there. Decor. 
See, it doesn't really change much because of how negative it is on the inside. So maybe I gotta put more paintings around the inside. So if I moved you over here. So if I move this all back then. And then, you know, put this back there. Right, how much is a painting? It's 100, provides 50. But it's good because you can pull it on a wall. So if I drop one there. Yeah, if I put them, yeah, if I put them all above the fryers. Because if I can squash... Okay, it does affect it. If I can squash the negative radiant coming out, that spills out to here through the door, it would take the edge off this grey patch there. So I, I, I fight it with paintings, is what I do. And then put two on this side where it seeps out by the door. And then decor. Look at that, it's now all gone green. Green and beautiful! Alright, good. Very good. Very good. So yeah, we'll fight it with paintings on the inside of here. To make it a bit nicer. Maybe paint something down there by the side of this where you can't get access to it. Just kind of deaden the red zone here. But that will make sure that it's super duper nice inside the restaurant. Now, is everybody saying it's nice? The restaurant is nice and clean. My food arrived late. Uh, the menu is amazing. Food. I uh, wish my food arrived earlier. Okay. Now, what is the issue with the food arriving so slow? Is it because we got the increase in, in, in customers? Is it because we ran out of food at those certain points? Is it because I've reconfigured the whole restaurant? We take people a lot longer to walk to certain areas. I don't 100% know just yet, to be honest with you. But we are coming quite close to losing some of the food. So up you, up the tomatoes. See, now we're doing soup. We are going to be using more tomato. So that's interesting as well. It's very interesting how things change. It really is. Um, Ridges is full. Uh, good restaurant, nice and clean, sweet. Not to order so many potatoes right now. There we go. Jukebox is over there, killing it. So yeah, decor, pretty solid. A little bit of seepage just here. But if I got stuff on the outside there, it might take the edge off. But then again, it could be because it's on a staircase. It's one of those things. It's one of those things. Five stars. Yes. Uh, food arrived a little bit late. It is what it is. But we're getting there. We're getting there. So the previous month we made 428. So the money's coming back up. Just got to focus on deading the negativeness inside of the rest, uh, the kitchen. So if I was to put down, say, some music. 80. A statue, 70. But it's more money. Jukebox. I mean, grand, 5 o'clock is the one. But if I drop down some music inside here. You know, just in this little section where, you know, they, they kind of don't really walk through it. The space, because you don't need really to access that side. They can get it from that side. Uh, so, do you know what? It doesn't really do much, does it? It don't really do much, so I don't know whether... Yeah. Right, let's just focus on getting more tables and chairs, because that is what is ultimately going to bring more people into our restaurant. So, if I start with the chairs... One, two, three, four... I ain't going to do any here because that's where the staircase is. Because i got the grandfather clock there. But then again, I can move that grandfather clock to there, put the door there, so I could still have them here. Okay, I can't afford them. <laughs> I'm poor! Three, seven, two is what we just made in that previous month. So, if anything, you know what we could do? We could, we could basically have more gambling machines. So, do I create a gambling den? <laughs> do I build this gambling den upstairs? <laughs> do I build a little extension out here for a sweet little gambling den? How much to buy that land? 300 versus 420. It's doable. 
don't get me wrong, it is doable. I could buy a little back room out here. So you walk out the restaurant into this back room where you can then do some activities of gambling. Because I found out, well, somebody told me, and I don't know how true it is, that they don't come into the restaurant just to gamble and then go. They actually come in, eat, drink, whatever, enjoy their food. And then, from what I gather, is it if they enjoy it, they'll then do some gambling? All right, I've got to up the flower delivery right now. And the tomato delivery. So that's going to have a negative effect on us not having that stuff in and available. So buy you. I need 300 big ones right now to buy this, but it's going to go into um, the next month anyway. There we go. I bought it just before, so we're going into a lot of debt, but 401 is what we made. Uh, because is it free to build walls? No. And it's not free to place floor either. So we're going to move all of that gambling stuff into a back room. Because then I'd be able to get an extra table and chair at the front. That's what we're going to try and do. Once we can afford to, obviously. And get more machines in so we start making more money from the gambling. And then that's additional money that I don't have to kind of maintain or spend money on consistently, like the food. So it's what I need to do. More gambling. More gambling, please! So another ingredient shortage. Shortage. There we go. So I get some extra flour in right now. We're slowly going through flour again like crazy. So I'm going to up it to 12. And now we're making money again. We are going to slowly start to build this building. So I think I'll only build it this big you can't afford that $84 so all I'm asking for guys is 84 big ones 84 big ones that's all I'm asking for bam there we go so door we'll place here and then we'll move all of our gambling machines over there so it kind of it's slightly out of the way then so there we go Give us a little bit more room for placing... Oh, messed that up. For placing um, tables and chairs at the front of the restaurant where the decor is so high. All right, move you. All right, I'll place these claw machines down there and all the gambling machines on both sides down here. So it's quite cool having like a little back room gambling area. I like the idea of that. And we'll just keep, as time goes on and we can afford them, we'll keep building them or buying them. Nice. Nice. Also, an extra room for our peeps to clean. They're going to love that. So, okay, right. So, let's configure then how we're going to do this then. So, it's not enough room. Oh, actually, do you know what? It is enough room to do another set of tables and chairs. So, if I move the music machines... <laughs> To here and to here to kind of hopefully deaden the, the space from the outside. I can get another set of a table of four here and there, which is good. So we've got benefit in moving them straight away. Uh, but I want to obviously want to focus on being able to buy more and more of them machines. So 300 for both, but we'll keep going slot machines. Made 340 in that previous month. Right, we've got a lot of flour coming in now. So bring that down. A lot of chicken coming in, so bring that down. It's like it's like it's like seasonal, isn't it? Like sometimes you get loads, sometimes you don't. You have to get like loads of like, you know, chicken one time and then loads of like flour one time. There is a rat there stuck. That was very weird. <laughs> Right, okay, let's get ready to be able to then buy a new slot machine. Because the more we buy, the more money we make. Alright, just play the waiting game until we got 300 big ones. Any minute now. Bam. There we go. And I'll move this 
to here. So it doesn't really provide much decor. But it starts to provide a little bit. A little bit, mate. So another slot machine. Bam, there we go. And we'll get paintings all around the room. It's kind of jazz it up a bit. But slowly, slowly, slowly is all I can say right now. We, we're slowly getting there. So a beautiful little back gambling room. Reconfigured our whole little kitchen right now. Uh, consistently making profit, we've managed to revitalize the whole front of the house. And the decor is now completely through the roof in these areas. We'll eventually push back as we keep getting more money coming in. But I'm going to focus on this, our little gambling den. So this is a way that we can earn extra money without spending consistently extra money and so on and so on and so on. Uh, and hopefully we can start to see a little bit of a change to, uh, take place. That is what we're hoping for right now. Uh, we did manage to at one point push it up to 40 guests in the restaurant at one time, which is an all-time new record for us. So we're interested to see how far we can potentially take that uh, in the long run. Last month we made 279. Uh, we're now about to start making profit this month very soon as well. So we'll add tick along. Oh, actually, let me see the gambling. So two or four in the gambling last month. This month we're already, we're gonna back, we're gonna suppress uh, su suppress surpass. There we go, surpass it uh, soon as well. So those additional machines are now taking effect. So we're now officially making more in gambling than the previous month, which is good to see. So we're just gonna keep focusing on buying more and more of those machines. Before you know it, we got a little side business on the go. Two fifty we made in that previous month, not bad. We could really do more guests coming in. Solid reviews. It's all about the food arriving late though, so maybe there's room to add an extra chef, extra server, because as we're reaching these higher numbers, we need those extra members of staff to tick along and get stuff done. It's probably what we're going to be needing. But uh, we can we can afford to hire uh, like a couple more guests um, guest workers with how much profit we are making. But I'll do that after I've bought all of our gambling machines. But guys, we're going to end over here. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.